You know, the AMD card is good value. Oh, no, 79. 70. Oh, 65. It just dipped. Uh, so I was checking, thinking of checking the 4090 and the 7900 XTX if we have time. And then a 4080, a 3090 Ti, or a 6900 XT, whatever whatever performance we want to check out, right? No, I don't really care about the gameplay. I'm really more looking for uh, an immersive experience. I haven't had one of those since Valheim. Um, once in a while, you pick up games that really immerse you into the story, like um, Banner Saga, Breath of the Wild. I, I was hoping Elden Ring would do that, but it didn't, right? Um... Uh, what other game? Uh, Stray. Ex an experience. Stray, definitely. Like, dude, when I was playing Stray, I would, like, go through every nook and cranny to try and discover more about the lore. Because the way the game ended, you finally escape that city, and you're like, now what? I want to know how the whole planet got that way, right? I want to know how the kitties got strayed, right? I want to know about all that shit. So, uh, Stray was an immersive experience, right? Um, like Red Dead, Metal Gear Solid. I want a fucking experience, right? If the, it's not like, it's not like, um, the combat in Stray was particularly mind-blowing. You just jump on some ledges and shit, right? But the, it, but it was, it was, in, it was, you want to know what happened, right? That's what, I like those kind of games. I don't want to do ray tracing because that's just going to tank the AMD card. What is the ugliest fucking character? You gotta, I got to be careful with what I say, don't I? Glasses? Oh, yeah, you got to have glasses. And then... Uh... <laughs> it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Okay, hang on. Oh, that's a good one too. Shit. Yeah, we're going to go with the emo hair, I think. Oh, oh, Lisa Sue hair. Oh my god, we just made Lisa Sue. Straight up. What the fuck? This looks identical. That's kind of shitty that I just said I'm trying to make the ugliest person imaginable. And we just converted fucking Lisa Sue. It's completely unintentional, man. Jesus. I don't want to use any NVIDIA... NVIDIA exclusive features here. Because we're going to be using an AMD graphics card as well. V-Sync off. Uncapped. Field of view, whatever. Sure. Okay. Yeah, how do I apply? Three hundred and sixty watts for. That's not that bad. That's that seems like really low FPS though, for four K. Let's fucking. Yeah, 425 watts now. God damn. 425 watts on a 4090, though. Holy shit, dude. Only 120 FPS. We need that Titan. We need the Titan, man. So if I if I was gonna play this on my uh Samsung Neo G8, I'm a hundred FPS short now, man. You know, I was so I was dude, I was watching um I was watching a streamer play today at work. Um, what was her name? She's quite large. I think she's sponsored by Intel. She's a girl with tattoos. I don't remember her fucking name now. But I remember her complaining. I, I was watching her in this exact scene earlier today. And she was complaining about how it kept stuttering. Hasn't stuttered yet. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. Yeah, 101% lows. Zero stuttering, man. No performance issues. What? Yeah, this is why, guys. Um, this is why, guys, it's so important that you can't actually use mainstream. Like when you when you watch like skill up or whatever like game reviewers 
they're always like i tested it on this hardware and the performance was bad it doesn't it's not applicable to us at all at all yeah no performance issues at all man people i i i you know i i do i do feel sorry for developers sometimes because you can see that the game was coded properly the, it, not a single hiccup not one right not a single hiccup and then all you hear about this game is performance issues no this so in my opinion this game was coded flawlessly dude where's the per it's it's like not even um i don't even get loading judder Yeah, no loading judder at all. Look how far away it's rendering too. No problems, man. There's no skipping, dude, at all. Even in this area here, spinning the mouse around, zero judder, dude. Amazing. I would have to test this with an AMD CPU probably. Yeah, no problems. Actually, this is the best spot to benchmark right here. Nothing. Yeah, man. Okay. So let's. Yeah, no problems, dude. I don't. I, yeah, I don't know why people have performance issues, man. They just don't know what the fuck they're doing. Seriously. This, honestly, also. Um. This was the main reason I started my channel too, by the way. Because when you're playing a game like this, you want to have a good experience, dude. No judder, no skipping, no immersion breaking 1% lows. This is, this is why you overclock. When everyone out there is complaining about fucking performance issues, you're like, no, nope. no problem here. I'm enjoying my game, right? No problems, man. Nothing. I bought a Zen 2 CPU. I did in fact find out. Yeah, why'd you get one? Because the mainstream tech tubers told you so, right? God, they fucked over. Dude, they fucked over like... Dude, you know what the repercussions of that was? When all the mainstream tech tubers recommended Zen 2, they fucked over game developers. Because now every game is unoptimized. Seems optimized to me. Unoptimized garbage. No, you just bought a Zen 2 CPU, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You bought Ryzen. That's why the game is unoptimized. Sounds like you fucked around and found... But people always... Then they play They play Counter-Strike and it works fine. They're like, that game's optimized. Why wouldn't AMD let you just run unlimited power? That'd be fun as shit, dude. Let me run 3.2 gigahertz on this thing and pull 500 watts who cares right why not it's funsies i don't know why they're i mean maybe maybe they just don't want rmas anymore man and returns and exchanges and shit. maybe they're just maybe they're just sick and tired of fucking so many exo sceners returning and rmaing shit for like bidding uh, we we're talking about that earlier today um because build Story was talking about buying like a million 3900 k's to get a better memory controller how many people are gonna go and exchange their cp like so let, let's say build zoids one post there how much money is intel gonna lose now from exchanges god knows how much man you know what i'm saying so i i kind of understand why amd is locking down overclocking i kind of get it you can't blame them man here's your locked bin this is gonna work out of the box you don't get to touch shit, right see as you can see the more you <laughs> fuck around the more you're gonna find out did you buy zen 2 i'm not sure gonna fuck around and find out oh no it is quite a bit less 87 fps so that's like that's like 30 30 fps less a good question it was a hundred and like five in the lows on the 4090 earlier 
a powerful magic not skipping at all you know the amd card is good value oh no 79 70 oh 65 it just dipped it just did man half a split second unreal it's just can't make this shit up we're close now it's just ahead Dude, you can make it dip every time if you just whip the mouse. What's with that? Why doesn't the NVIDIA one dip when you whip? I mean, it's an unrealistic test. 80? It's like 10 less than a 4090. That's actually, that's actually good. That's actually, uh, I would give that W to AMD to be honest. It's pulling, I mean, maybe not. It's pulling the same power and getting 10 fps less than the lows but it costs fucking 600 dollars less too yeah yeah it's about 10 percent slower yeah that's actually really good 10 percent slower for 600 dollars less but but the dips though are those dips that we were having before Okay, let's go try a 4080 quickly then. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. 4K, low, high. Yeah, all the same settings. Yeah. I mean, dude, I mean, it's $600 cheaper. And you're, you're, almost it how does that make any sense though how how does a card with 96 cus get within 10 percent of a 4090 though isn't that interesting pulling the same power that's super interesting like, like it does like like the the math the math of it doesn't actually add up right how is that possible let's go try a 4080 quickly i'm gonna go grab it one sec Optimization Hogwarts video. You, like, what do you mean, though? There's no, there's no optimization on a per game basis. You just overclock your damn computer, right? It, all, all games are optimized when you just overclock your shit. It's, it's like very rarely do you have to actually go into config files and, and dick around like very rarely it's really the the whole config file thing is really a cod problem it really is dude i don't i don't optimize shit every game i play just runs just fine dude it really does i i yeah but i don't i don't uh i don't scam people dude i don't make fake content only for april fool's day I'll make some fake ass shit but otherwise no i don't make fake content that's not my jam even if it's like clickbaity and shit no i there, there's already enough people misleading other people on the internet man i don't need to add to that fucking fire yeah it's maybe f five fps less than the 700 xcx Yeah. I'd like to have a yeah, and it's pulling a hundred watts go. less. That's the thing. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a Legit, a However whole one hundred watts less. That's a lot. In terms of power consumption here. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the? Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly it. A good it's. Question. 5 FPS no, less on the averages and 1% lows are the same. Ancient magic. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Yeah. That That's basically exactly it. Time. So this this will give you the same gaming experience as a uh, built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. 
You see how it doesn't dip? I mean, it did. It, it dipped to 75, 76, but not 65. Not 68. Look. Why do AMD graphics cards do that shit? But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost Yeah, magic? man. Crazy. I wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. It does it just doesn't but dip, man. It's no different than any power. It's just an AMD thing. What really matters is the one who wields it. It's crazy. This is 4K right now. Yeah, so it dipped down to 70 when the when the uh, ice broke. So that was the same as 700 XTX, right? So I would say they're both the same to the tie. Yeah, the, the, the whole mouse whipping thing isn't a good. That's just like something that I don't think I don't think that's like a something you would do in a benchmark right oh, up there. i would say it's a tie more or less We're close but this now. one's twelve hundred dollars though right the ex yeah that's what i would that's a good word the experience is tied yeah the experience that's a good word Repair. Except it doesn't have, yeah, that weird dippy shit with the mouse whipping. Not at all. I don't know is that I, dude, I, it's it's like the same thing. Well, you remember Warzone One with the AMD CPUs? The AM dip every time you whip the mouse, it would fucking dip. It's like that fucking everything, dude. It's weird. This is like the exact same. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Yeah, it's basically the that exact same for a reason as the XTX here. Anything that seems out of Two place. FPS more in the lows. Nothing burger. So yeah, there you go. I would still take the 4080 to be honest. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't get the extra uh, a 7900 XTX. That's why this is her 4080, right? I I can't you just can't recommend AMD shit, dude. Can't do it. There's just weird things like that, right? Like it's it's not gonna like whipping the mouse around isn't gonna break your gameplay experience, but it's there, right? And the and it's not there on the Nvidia one. It right? It just sucks. Like you shouldn't be paying a thousand dollars and just know that that's in the back of your head. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just that's me though, right? It's kind of that could be a driver thing too. Could be architectural. Who knows? It's gotta fix that shit, right? Anyway. I'm glad we got that done though. I am fucking tired as shit, guys. I'm like, yeah, look how black my eyes got in the last a couple hours here. Okay, let's call it there then. Benchmark complete. Um, for the most part, a very well optimized game. No dips, no loading screens, none of that shit. No performance issues whatsoever. Uh, with with both vendors, I want to say. I mean, for the most part, right? Not counting the whipping mouse nonsense. But anyway, no problems with this game. Yeah, let's call it there, boys, and I'll see you on Saturday.